Hey everybody, good afternoon. The bipolar astrophotographer is back. I've got some fun stuff I'm gonna share, but I'm gonna break it up into multiple videos. So we're gonna start today. Uh, I just gonna do kind of a quickish video to share some new data that I got that I'm very, very excited about. Um, it's not the Pelican and I'll tell you why. I shot the Pelican, I processed the Pelican, I love the Pelican. But then the next night I shot the heart, I processed the heart, and I loved the heart so much that I shared it on my other social media platforms and I don't want to not share it here and be consistent with it. So I'm going to share with you the Pelican Nebula data that I got, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video probably tomorrow. So right now I'm just gonna share with you the Heart Nebula and I'm gonna share kind of the evolution of the very first picture versus what I got this time. I did not decide to stack any data to my old data from two years ago. And it's because I didn't like the framing of my heart nebula ever. And so I decided to frame it differently this time around. So basically I'm starting completely over. The cat is gonna jump, just letting you know. I'm gonna start completely over. So I got brand new data. I got six hours even of dual narrow band data just with the L Extreme filter that my husband has that I've been borrowing lately. So I'm gonna share with you what I got there. But first of all, I'm going to share with you my very, very first image of the Heart Nebula. This was taken under a relatively dark sky out east here in town. <clears throat> this was with a DSLR camera and a Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter lens at 600 millimeters. Now you can see it barely, barely fits in the frame. Now this isn't bad, this, I don't even remember what year this is from, let's see if it says, properties. <clears throat> it probably doesn't say, it might say on my phone. Uh, general. 2020, I think this was 2020, so this would have been four years ago. And it's, it's not bad, I, I really, I was very surprised that I even got anything. I, I don't remember how much data this is, I, I don't even know if I saved the data. This was, the, was with the DSLR, this was back before we were getting really serious. Um, but you can see, I mean, it's there, it's not bad, but the framing is a little bit weird. So then I shot it again two years ago, and this is with my telescope and my ZWO camera, and the framing is almost identical. It's almost identical. I think, I think that it's very, I mean, I, I don't remember exactly what the specifications are between either one of them, but it's almost identical. And this one I don't love. And again, part of it is the framing. It cuts off this bottom part. I think my mouse is working. It cuts off this bottom part down here. And this one keeps a little bit more of it, but it's just, you know, DSLR, you're not gonna pick up, unless you have it astro modified, you're just not gonna pick up the color that you want. So, I rotated it in the framing assistant in Nina the other night, and I decided to shoot it and start over just from scratch. And this is what I came up with. Look at this. This turned out amazingly nice. Look at the details in here. The framing is still tight, but it fits. You get more of the actual shape and structure all the way down to the pointed area of this one. Got some really good color, some cool versus warm here between the inside and the outside of the structure of this one. And I did also do a starless version of it to show you, just so you can see more of the dust and the details. I was thrilled, six hours. This one, I was really interested, it was really interesting. I took out the stars and I noticed, I'm like, what is this? It didn't take out this little splotch right here. Oh, that's because it's a galaxy. I never knew there was a galaxy there. Look at this, bam, there's a tiny little spiral galaxy right there off of the, point, the, the inverted point of the heart. Just absolutely loved it. If you want to see it more of a full size, we can rotate it this way. I don't prefer it this way, but there again, it's still not all that bad <clears throat> compared to these, but you can see the difference in rotation as far as how I framed, framed my image, but I prefer to have it this way. So anyways, six hours worth of data. I probably spent, I didn't spend that long working on it. Maybe, maybe three hours processing it. I considered um, doing a recorded version of my processing, but there again, I was, I was just like, I, I deleted it a couple of times and started over, and then I, 
I went into Photoshop for a couple of things. I just, I, I'm not there. I'm not ready to share that yet. And it's, it's one of those things where if I do share it, then the criticism, it opens the door to it. And I'm just not, I do it my way. I get the results that I want. And then I just, I, whatever, that's just, I just want to share my results with you. I don't really care about sharing the process. And this is my newest result of the heart. It's also my newest, it's, it's zoomed in, but it's my newest wallpaper. <laughs> And then under it, I do, I can give you a little glimpse, even though you can't tell, I do have the pelican underneath. So I will share a video here um, shortly of the pelican, and I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to show you the, the very first attempt I ever took at it, and then I'm going to show you what I got this last weekend, which was absolutely, uh, it wasn't a step up. It was about 10 steps up. It really, I really improved on it, just like I did the heart. I just really improved on it, and I was very excited, and I just want to share so this one's the heart. Uh, the pelican is still yet to come. However, it's all processed and ready. I just want to do it in a separate video. I don't want to do too much all at once. Then it gets to be a little bit, it's just too congested in here. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to break it up for you guys. So this was the heart. Just wanted to share one more time. We'll go through them really, really quickly. And I'll just go ahead and rotate this one back. So my very first attempt, DSLR, Tamron 150 to 600 millimeters out in kind of a relatively dark sky. I want to say it's a Bortle 4 where we went. I can't even see that cool galaxy. I don't even know if it's framed up in here um, or if it's just I, I can't see it because I can't see it. And then there's this one framed almost identically. Again, I can't spot that little galaxy where, where I can in my other picture. I don't like how the stars turned out in this one. I don't like the framing at all. It looks weird. And then there's this guy. And then this guy's got that beautiful spiral little tiny galaxy up there. It's got some great colors. It's got some great structure. I just couldn't be more pleased. So there's the heart for you guys. Um, more to come. Stay tuned for the pelican. I will be uh, uploading a video of that one and, and the evolution of where I started to where I am now with it as well. It looks like it may be another good night for shooting. So we'll see what happens. If I've got more to share, I will either upload it in a YouTube short or I'll do a quick video for you guys so you can see what we're doing. Um, one thing that I should mention before I get off of here is we're going to take my husband's, the plan is to take my husband's big scope out of his dome for the time being since we're in a season where there's a lot of nebulas around and not much far off galaxies. So he has a smaller scope that has a wider field of view than mine, which means I think, not totally sure, I think given the right conditions, the right equipment, the right set up the right everything, we could get the heart and the soul in one image. We could get the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula in one image. We could get the witch's head with kind of the billowing structure above her head in it more. It would widen us up a little bit. Um, but I, in the meantime, you know I'll keep shooting with mine. So hopefully we'll have kind of, we can get the same targets in a way with a totally different perspective. So I'll keep you posted on that. If we're out there working, I'll, I'll do some shorts. I'll upload them. Um, but yeah, we're going to take the big scope out for a little bit and play with something else because we have something else to play with. So, okay, that's it for now. That's it, I think, for today. Um, enjoy my rendition of the Heart Nebula. And I wish you wonderfully, beautifully clear skies, good weather, and I, I, I hope that all things are going well for you and that you feel, you feel well balanced. Self-care is not selfish, okay? Do it when you need it. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye now.